Uh, but we do have a uh, job with this again, uh, and he will explain the last problem, the hardest problem, the one that nobody solved in the fir first four hours. And we have seen many submissions uh, uh, from, from a lot of teams. Uh, I know uh, ITMO was just throwing around submissions here. I think they got up to 14 on this one, uh, which kind of tends to mean they that, didn't get it. That suggests they didn't get it Right, it suggests quickly. they didn't get it, so we'll see. <laughs> but uh, Jop, could yeah. you tell us how to solve it? Yeah, so I was thinking, uh, the, you're the 14 submissions. In, initially, there weren't really few submissions. I think only only five, six teams really seriously attempted this problem. Right. Um, indeed, it, I think it's probably the hardest problem in the set. Um, first of all, because it's a geometry problem, and these always tend to be really hard. And then, secondly, it turns out that if you look at it, there are some very nasty special cases that are involved. Okay, but let me first just describe the problems also for the list, uh, kind of the, the audience that that, that haven't seen it, haven't seen it yet. So you get a um, um, uh, like um, a country or so. In this case, they they showed the the, the 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 example also from the problem statement was the the state of Texas in the U.S. So this is drawn in white. It's kind of a uh, has a certain uh, well the, the the shape, and you want to um, uh, put this on a map. But then the problem is that the, 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 the map is made out of um, kind of pages, and the pages might not be big enough. So you need to have multiple pages um, um, to, to kind of stitch them together um, to get the whole, the whole um, uh, country, say, on the map. Um, and then you can choose how to, how to try and fit these, these, these um, tiles together. And what you want to do is choose an optimal way to kind of, say, move the um, kind of the, the way to locate, kind of to position the tiles such that there's a minimum amount of tiles necessary to, to put everything, um, the, whole, the whole country on the map. Um, so in this case, you see, I mean, I've drawn here two different tilings. So one in red and one in green. Um, it's maybe a little bit difficult to see because they're overlapping, but um, so you see that the, the red tiling is shifted a little bit um, up uh, respect with kind of relative to the, the green tiling. And this means that, for example, here you need only one green tile to cover this part, while you need two red tiles. On the other hand, the red tiling is a little bit more efficient here. But if you do the counting, you'll see that you need only green, 10 green tiles and 12 uh, red tiles. So the green tiling is, is more efficient, and, and actually in this case, it turns out that, that 10 is the, the optimal solution for the amount of tiles you need. Okay, so that's kind of intuitively the problem statement. Now. This country now is, is given as a, as a polygon, so you get a polygon kind of describing the, 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 the boundary of the country, and then you are asked to output the optimal tiling, uh, the optimal number of tiles. This is a geometry problem, and this is always hard. So first of all, I think uh, you need to have like uh, code prepared to do this, because if you have to write all of this code yourself, it's going to be, uh, well, first of all, a lot of time, and really prone to having bugs in there. Um, but I guess all the all the all the the, the good teams will have, have this kind of thing in their, in their um, um, uh, code reference uh, with them. So that's, that's a, well, should not be that, that, mu that much a problem. But then, okay, so then how to try and solve it? Well, the idea is kind of you have to optimize it by trying to say shift, if you kind of take a fixed background tiling, you want to shift, say, the country such that it kind of precisely fits against, kind of hits the, the, the border. Say here, it hits precisely this border. It hits precisely the border here. And if you do that, you'll find, you'll find an optimal, uh, optimal way to, to, uh, to fit it in, say, in the tiling. But then there's different ways that this can happen. I mean, it could happen like at the, at the corner point, which is the most obvious one. And that's also the one, the one solution that everybody tried. The initial solutions were always kind of using, I think, using this, or sorry, may, may be mistaken there. Um, but you also have to be careful for ex other examples where uh, it may actually fit um, while the, the kind of uh, the kind of diagonal lines say of the country are precisely um, hitting the, um, the 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 corners of the tiles. So that's the other way around, not the corners of the country hitting the the tile sides, but the corners of the tiles hitting the country edges. So um, to show you a few um, examples, there I have a picture. So I hope this can be shown. Um, Yes, so, okay, so here we have two really tricky example uh, cases. These are courtesy of the jury. Um, so the left side you see, well, so the polygon is basically the, the, the surrounding side and the inner side is empty. Um, and you see that um, there's the, 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 oh, can we please have it on there for? So you, yeah, you see that you, well, you have to fit the kind of the, the, the diagonal lines of the of the polygon against the, the kind of the, the, the tiles. 
And then, but on the other hand, there's also the um, um, kind of the coordinate 16,39, for example. You see that, that that part actually you have to fit a corner of the polygon again against the, uh, the, the edge of the tiling. So that's one really um, a, a tricky case, which I think none of the teams really um, 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 uh, correctly solved for. And then to the left, well, there's another one which I'm, I won't even try to explain. It's, it's really a tricky, uh, uh, a complicated test case, which, which really tries to, well, hit, yeah, triggers all the possible things you can do wrong um, while solving this. So I think, yeah, I should just say it's, it's, it's besides already geometry being a difficult problem, it has some really, a lot of different cases you have to think about and uh, I have my doubts whether any of the teams will have solved this problem. Uh,